Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create a custom mockup in Smart Mockups, a web based app with which you can create professional product mockups. So, in terms of custom mockups, I've created two tutorials basic and advanced. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic custom mockup. So, I'm logged into my Smart Mockups account. From this menu up top, click on Custom and it'll bring you to this page. As you can see, I've created a few custom mockup templates. Click on Create New Mockup, and on this page, you can drag and drop your image here. I'll click this link to upload your image, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll navigate to my folder, choose my image, and click Open. This will open the mockup editor. This is the preview section, and as you can see, it's placed a placeholder here. In this website section is where you can edit the mockup template. You can edit the template name here. I'll leave it as is. Here you can also name the placeholder. I'll rename it to a laptop. Next, you can click here and then choose a preset placeholder. I'll click on the choose preset size. And as you can see, here there are quite a few presets. I'll choose laptop. And as you can see, it's resized the placeholder in the preview section. I can then start placing this placeholder on the image where I want to by using these handles at the corners accordingly and adjusting it. If I need to, I can use my mouse roller to zoom into the mockup and then further fine tune it and adjust the placeholder like so. There are some advanced settings here in the right side panel, and I'll be covering these in the advanced tutorial. But for this mockup template, I don't need the blending mode, so I will disable this. It's mostly used for white objects. Similarly, here in the eraser section, I can drop this down, which will give me access to the magnetic brush, which I will also cover in the advanced tutorial. I'm happy with the custom laptop mockup, so I'll click the Save and Quit button. And as you can see, it saved my custom mockup here. So, whenever I need to use this custom mockup, I can come back here in this section and then click on the mockup to use it. It will then open the mockup editor where I can edit the mockup just like any other pre made mockup template. But that pretty much covers the basics. Check the link in the description section to try smart mockups for free. Well, hope you found this smart mockups tutorial helpful. You can check these videos to learn more about smart mockups. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.